Welcome back. If you've been following along with the series, you know that this is going to be the third installment of What is New in Laravel 7. If you missed the first two episodes, I highly recommend that you do because we covered two very important topics. Today, we're covering something completely different. Now, this actually doesn't technically add any functionality, but it is a great must-have for any developer that loves Laravel's Fluent API, where you get to chain things together back and forth. One of those things is strings. So let me start with an example to illustrate what I'm talking about. I'm going to jump into PHP Storm here. I have a route set up with a simple function here. Let me go ahead and visit slash example. And it's just a blank page. So you know about strings, right? So let's say that we have a string here and we're going to say hello from our web.php and that's it. So when you need to manipulate strings, you may think of something like this. Let's imagine that the string maybe had a couple of extra spaces. And so we can look at the string and say, okay, maybe say new string equals, let's start with a trim and then we'll put in string like so. And then at the end, we'll just die and dump this new string. Okay. We go back here, hit refresh. Of course you expect everything there. Okay. Then you say, all right, now I need to do another operation. Then you need to select the whole thing and let's say, let's do a string replace. Let's search for any spaces and let's substitute with a dash and then we'll give it the trimmed string. Okay. Okay. So that works. Then I want to remove any uppercases or something like that. And you see that quickly, this becomes very unreadable. By the time you have two or three of these things, that is completely unreadable because it's actually backwards, right? So the trim is happening first, then the string replace. But when you're reading this line of code, you're reading from left to right. So you're going to read string replace first. You can say, wait a minute, we are actually trimming this string before we get to it. Okay. So Laravel kind of does this maybe a little bit better, right? So until now we had the STR, illuminate support STR, and it is imported up here at the top, just to keep that in mind. And so here we have things like, um, say title, and then you could pass in your string. But again, if you wanted to do trim, then we'd have to kind of do the same thing. We'll say STR. I don't think there's actually a trim. Yeah, I didn't think so. But again, you get the point. You can use all these things, but they're still backwards. So that was a little bit better, but still backwards up until now. In Laravel 7, we have this new fluent syntax. So if you start with of, then you pass through your string. Now we've got a whole slew of methods that you can call right afterwards. So we could say, okay, of, and then title. And sure enough, we get back a stringable class with our value inside. Okay. Then after title, maybe let's add something else. Let's say, give me only after the last, um, let's just say, O. okay. Hit refresh. Sure enough, we get that afterwards and you can continue to chain on here. And let's say before, and let's search for giving me for PHP. And so you see that we are able to do this in a more systematic way. Now, if you want this to be even cleaner, you can do it in brand new lines like that. And now it makes a lot of sense. You've got a string and then we're going to title case it. Then we're going to after last and then before. Now there are a ton of different methods that you can use. I will put the link in the description of all of the available ones, but I did want to show you a couple that I think are probably the most useful ones. And one of the ones that I use all the time is actually camel. So let's try that one camel. So it starts with a lowercase and then it goes ahead and does uppercase and removes all spaces. Another one that I use is contains all pass through an array and say, does it contain our, for example? Yep, it does. But if we write in something random, nope, doesn't look like that works. Another method that I use is plural. So we could say plural. And then we can remove everything else like so. And then obviously it just adds an S there at the end, but we could always do something like trim, for example. It doesn't look like it's working. Huh? Wonder if I pass a space, huh? We may have uncovered a bug here. looks like trim requires you to pass a space. We can take a look at this. looks like it's using trim using this value and characters here. So character is null. Maybe characters should be an empty string or something like that. I don't know. That's interesting. 
Anyway, you can also do another one that I use is replace last and replace first. So for example, if we take a look in here, if you're searching for something and then what you're going to replace it with, but only on the last time. This is kind of useful for things like extensions. So say that I want to find PHP and I want to replace it with JPG, with JPEG. Yeah, you see, it's a really useful method for things like that. Oh, you only want that on the last instance. So again, there's a lot of methods. I'll go ahead and put that in the description of this video. Don't forget that I do run a podcast with my buddy Yanni. It's called Foreign Developers. And we actually talk about all sorts of things. So you could head on over to the address and I will put the link in the description, but it's foreign-devs.transistor.fm. We do have an awesome episode right now talking about a great book that we are both reading. So if you're into development, if you're into business and marketing and PHP and Laravel and all that, I think you'll really love Foreign Devs. But for now, we'll call it a day on this third installment of What is New in Laravel 7. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button. And until next time, my name is Victor. See you later.